Hi guys, it's me, I'm Aradek from Wombly. Today we will build something super, super, super cool. We will start building our artificial intelligence model. And remember about thumb up, subscribe our channel. And if you like us, if you would like to support us, share that video with your friends. Do, 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 do. Now I would like to tell you what we will build today, because we will not only build uh, artificial intelligence, we will do a lot more. First of all, we will take the data from the internet, now we will not base on the data from the database that we already harvested, we will do it in the next episode, but we will do like call to the financial API, we will take data for the uh, stock for the last five years or 10 years. You can try whatever you would like to do with that, five or 10, it will be good. Next, we will uh, teach our artificial intelligence on the last six months, what was the trends, how the stock were behaving. And if we will train our API, we will experiment a bit with epochs and batch size. I will explain everything to you during this episode. And finally, we will have smart terrain artificial intelligence that will be ready to predict stock price. Are you ready to start? Let's go! As the first step, we need to create a module named AI and create file.ai.py. Next, we need to import necessary dependencies that we will use later. Now we should install Keras. Ah, of course, if you don't use Conda and don't have installed like NumPy or Pandas, you should install them as well. If we have installed it, we need to import uh, Keras and Actually, we need to import just layers and sequential. And we need to import scalar from Skiller. Now we will create the function to get uh, stock price. It will be similar that we did in previous lessons, but uh, in this lesson we will not use the data from the database yet. And here we will import data for the last five years. Of course, later we will upload all of this data into the database because it's easier for artificial intelligence to learn on the longer period of time.
and this step we need to create the function that will split data for two. First we will need to take the data like prices for the last month so it will be the last 20 records and the second one we will take all data that we left. So everything until the last 20 records. Next we need to return both of the variables. Ok, now we can go into preparation of data. And here we will take only the open prices from X day. So it open price is the second position, so we will take only second values of the second position of the stock prices test. Next we need to scale data, so our AI will be able to train much faster and algorithm will be uh, speed busted and we will return the data Now we will create the function that will be responsible for splitting data for like terrain results, uh, for uh, terrain items and for the real prices. So I will be able to check what would be the real price of the data that we are putting. For example, if we had like, okay, these six months, it was this, 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 and after six months, this was the result. So AI will be able to learn a bit about the trends. This 120, it means like it's uh, data for six months. So because every month we have about 20 records as uh, stock marketplace are open from Monday to until Friday, so five days per week. In this function, we will first create like 3D array and next we will need to reshape data to have it as a one list, one long list. Okay, now we are going to something interesting, finally, and here we will be creating model, like I model. We don't have specified like model yet, uh, we will specify this variable later and we will add like long uh, short term memory uh, layers here. I added here as a 30 units uh, and added few of the layers. And of course, different setting uh, will have totally different result. Uh, so it has huge impact for that. If you would like to improve your eye, first, what I would suggest you to do, it would be like to ex uh, experiment a bit with the 
model layers, maybe about units, maybe about the uh, dropout the value, you can take it array. Well, here we can take a look for sure if everything in the code is the same as I created when I was testing it. Okay, we can come back to adding the layers. We don't need that in the second layers. We can specify only input in the first one. And remember to delete these return sequences in the third uh, in the third layer, so you will not need to flatten the layers, and your format of the output will be this one that we need. Here we will specify optimizer Adam. There is a few of them, but uh, when I checked in documentations and some online communities, all of the people thought. It will give us the best results and when I tested it, it looks like that. Here we will need to create like function terrain model and here we will actually start the terraining of the model. So this model.fit with inputs, epochs and batch size uh, is responsible for starting the terraining. It's important to focus on epochs and batch size. Uh, because uh, if we have more epochs and smaller batch size, it means we will have a lot more iteration. Some people in some cases uh, recommend to give epochs even like 1000 and batch size as a 4, but with uh, only 2000 of records, I think it could be overfitted. But you can try, of course, it will be long time, but maybe your results will be much better than mine. So now we need to define the prices and uh, we will take the Microsoft stocks. You can take stocks of everything that is interesting for you. Next we'll define the model as uh, we'll assign sequential there and the scaler. We'll set up for feature range for 0,1. Finally, now we can uh, create the function where we we'll pack all of the logic that we created before and uh, we will be able to call only this one function instead of the rest of them.
you maybe don't need to carry that function you could call a rest of them one by one but I think it will be easier for later okay and now we can just add the function that will fire the terrain i with 50 epochs let's test it It started and it works. Congratulations! I will not wait with you until it will finish because anyway we will start it in the next lesson and we will be doing prediction. Congratulations! Now you have your artificial intelligence that is trained, you know what is a recurrent neural network, you know how to train it, you know how to add long short term memory layers and in the next episode we will focus on adding prediction preparing data to predict and we will compare the prices with the real ones so we will see if our artificial intelligence it's smart or it's not if you like the video remember about thumb ups remember about share the video with your friends so you will be able to support that and remember about subscribing and turning notifications on so I cannot wait to show you the next episode and to build the fantastic things with you together. See you!